in OB, we use a lot of models, which are abstractions of reality, a simplified representation of something that happens in the world. This model attempts to explain how we analyze organizational behavior. We do it at three different levels. Yellow is the individual level, blue is the group level, and green is the organizational level. We also look at inputs, variables like personality, group structure, and organizational culture that set the stage for what will occur later. Let's read this model from left to right with inputs leading to processes and processes leading to outcomes. Inputs are often determined in advance of the employment relationship. These are pre-existing before you ever join the organization. For example, diversity characteristics, personality, and values are all shaped long before employees get hired. Group structure, roles, and team responsibilities are often assigned as soon as a group is formed. Any new people who are added to that group have no control over its structure, roles, and responsibilities. Organizational structure and culture are usually the result of years of development, change, evolution, as the organization adapts to its environment and establishes its own customs and norms. Notice too the line that goes from outcomes back to inputs, which basically means that the outcomes can then influence inputs in the future. Inputs are like the nouns of an organization. Processes, on the other hand, are like the verbs, actions that individuals, groups, and organizations engage in as a result of inputs. Processes then lead to certain outcomes. For example, at the individual level, we might look at things like motivation, perception, decision-making. At the group level, we would look at communication, leadership, power in politics, conflict and negotiation, the titles of the chapters in this book. Finally, at the organizational level, we would look at things like human resource management and change practices. Outcomes then are the key variables that we want to explain or predict. These outcomes are affected by other variables. The thinking is if we can understand the things that come before outcomes, we might be able to change those things so that we can have an impact on the outcomes. Group structure impacts communication, which impacts how the group functions. We might be able to go back and make adjustments to the structure, adjustments to communication to then influence how the group functions. At the individual level, we're concerned about outcomes like attitudes, job satisfaction, performance, organizational citizenship behaviors, withdrawal behaviors. At the group level, we're concerned about group cohesion and group functioning. At the organizational level, we want to understand how profits are made and how the organization survives, how it competes with other organizations.